Guess who's not making friends with WordPress product owners this week? What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna talk about a product that just came out of beta, it's called Spin Up WP. It's put out by my good friend Brad Tunard of Delicious Brains. They make some great plug-in products. I'm mean, excited to see where Spin Up WP goes. And if I were to venture a guess, a lot of the migration plugins and other offloading media plugins that Brad has created at Delicious Brains will somehow be integrated into this SaaS offering or charged at a higher fee to get access to those because it only makes sense to close the loop of all the products and services that Delicious Brains offers. Now, we won't talk about that in this video, but really what I want to talk about is the argument against managed WordPress hosting because, well, full disclosure, I am paying for uh, spin up WP I have for a couple months and second full double disclosure is that I work for Pagely uh, where I sell managed WordPress hosting on top of AWS with a great awesome team over at Pagely but there's just like this weird vibe uh, that I've seen not only in the sales collateral that Brad has put out for spin up WP but I've seen this of course in long-standing in some of the Facebook groups or other hosting forums that you might go to and it's always about well, they always look at managed WordPress hosting as this massive absorbent cost, and my God, why would you pay that fee? Um, and to you know, what Brad alludes to a little bit is yes, of course, the cost is gonna be a lot higher, uh, and geez, why wouldn't you wanna have full control and access to your own server so that you can control all of this stuff? But that's the crux, and that's the reason why people pay for managed WordPress hosting. Well, at least specifically from Pagely's point of view, because all we sell is dedicated VPSs. We don't do any kind of containerized shared hosting like a lot of the other vendors. So when people are looking at us to support their WordPress site, it's because they want us to support their WordPress site, but also to support the infrastructure. Now, without making this a full-fledged Pagely commercial, looking at again what spin up wp is doing is it's making that process of spinning up servers and the worry of the infrastructure well i guess slightly easier right i mean it was super easy for me to hook up to DigitalOcean. it spins up the servers for you it installs all of the apps on it and you know within a few minutes maybe 10 15 minutes you can go ahead and click and add WordPress sites at will. It's very easy. Uh, it's very easy to integrate with Let's Encrypt for SSL. So far, thumbs up, smooth sailing. It works just fine. But the big difference again is I am on the hook for that server. <laughs> and if you're in an organization where, well, your day job isn't just watching a VPS or coming up with a disaster recovery plan for that D uh, VPS, then, well, that's when you want to go out and get somebody to manage all of this stuff for you. So, while I like what Spin Up WP is doing, not necessarily too cozy with the sales against boy, managed WordPress hosting is expensive and don't you want to have access? Because the flip side is no. Why would you want to have access? Because now you're on the hook. In other words, you're getting that phone call in the middle of the night when the server goes down and there's issues, not, well, Pagely or any other vendor. And I know a lot of this stuff firsthand because, well, what's funny is I used to sell hosting about 15 years ago, 20, almost 20 years ago, when I worked at a small mom and pop ISP uh, in the area that I live in. And we had launched cPanel servers when cPanel had really just come onto the scene. And I remember getting paged in the middle of the night when hard drives locked up or memory chips burnt out. And I literally had to drive to the, the co-location and replace the hardware in the middle of the night. So I remember all of those horror stories and I'm still a little gun shy when I think about servers going down. The other thing is sort of just like the resource stuff. And this is another thing that I see get thrown around, especially in uh, some of the Facebook groups is, boy, you can make these sites super fast for really cheap money. And I think, yeah, that's awesome. You know, and I think for, again, a lot of sites, that's gonna be fine if it's small little business sites and informational sites, totally, you know, a $5 droplet, a $10 droplet, or a $30 a month uh, C5 instance on AWS, perfect. You're not gonna need all of the resources, your site will never use it, and if you can cache things really well, then you're fine. But it's when you start getting into e-commerce, more complex WordPress sites, plugins that are having conflicts, membership sites, which is hugely popular these days, um, page builders where you're building the page and a lot of those assets cannot be uh, cached or they're doing some funky things with loads of JavaScript. All of the critical thinking that comes around scaling those types of sites, you're not gonna get from a control panel. 
you're gonna get it from somebody like Pagely, like what we do all day long. And again, I'm not trying to make this a Pagely commercial and you can say whatever you want about it in the comments below or downvote the video, it really doesn't bother me. The idea is managed services are there for a reason. I could build my own house if I wanted to. I could probably build my own car if I wanted to, right? If I actually could, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go buy a house. I'm gonna hire somebody to put an, an addition onto my house. I'm gonna go buy a car that's already pre-built. I don't want to have that control and spend all that time doing those things, and that's what a managed service is. I mean, if you're truly getting a managed WordPress hosting service from a great vendor, then they should be doing all of that critical thinking for you. You don't have to worry about it, nor should you, nor would you want to, if you don't have the time to do that. Spin Up WP looks great. I'm curious about how the support is gonna go in the long term. Uh, I'm curious on how they're gonna do security and add on features. I must say I have opened up a couple support tickets and it was sort of just like a, well, you know, you have access, you can go fix it. And it really had me thinking like, okay, I understand what I'm paying for here. It's like whatever it is, 15 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month, whatever the number is. So I don't expect the type of support of them actually looking at code, looking at the server resources and identifying it. And that has me a little bit on edge with the product as a whole because it just feels like, you know what, it almost feels like they're selling me a WordPress theme, but for hosting, if that makes sense. So if you can imagine spending 59 bucks on a theme and then going to your theme author and saying, my site's broken, my site's down, um, you know, or can you move these designs over here? Can you change these layouts? They're gonna say, no, you paid me $59 for this theme and the updates and security of the theme itself. Everything else is out of scope. And that's what the support for SpinUp WP feels like right now. It's not a managed host. It's not a true managed host. If you want to push the responsibility and the reliability off to somebody else, that's when you seek out managed WordPress hosting. If you're looking for a nice, beautiful control panel for DIY, that's it, SpinUp WP. I couldn't recommend it enough if that's exactly what you're looking for. It's MattReport.com, MattReport.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please, Brad, if you're watching, thumbs up the video if you like it. We'll see you in the next video.